hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how we can download the python and how we can install into our uh, windows operating system for that first we have to visit uh, the i have written a blog for it so i'll just open my website arkprocoder.com i'll just go to the blog page over here so if i just show you here uh, how to download a python into the vs code i have written a complete block for it okay you can just refer this particular uh, website so here yeah, uh, i am visiting how to download a python into the windows obviously so first we have to visit this particular link that is a uh, download python for windows so if i just tell here uh, download so i'll just tell download download uh, python for the windows if i just open this you can see i'll be getting this kind of link so i'll be getting the first link which you have to get open so if you are not getting here you can just click to click on to this directly link you will be getting this uh, particular page over here okay so once uh, i visit to this particular page so what we have to do here is so we have a latest version if you want to download the python for the latest version for your operating system you have to download the download python 3.11.1 which is the latest right now so after a few days it might be 3.2 or like that so whichever you like you can just download it over here okay so if you want a specific version if you are looking onto it so you can see we have a specific version written over here 11 3.9876 like a uh, depend upon the operating system which you like whichever the release version i can just click on to the download so if i want 3.7 i'll just really click on to the download so here you have to download the executable installer file like uh, recommended they would have written somewhere so if you want to download the version 3.7.4 you can just click on to the windows 86 64 bit executable installer and you can just uh, install normally the whichever i am going to show you right that so now let's i wanted to install you the so here i have said you so we'll visit to this page if you are looking for a specific version i have just attached the screenshot you can uh, overlook onto it so next step now let's download the uh, latest version of the python i'll just click on to the download i click on to the download uh, 3.11 it is of uh, 60 to the 28 mb something like that so the very most important is comes part of the installation i'll just click on to open it over here so once i open it here so you can see i'll be getting this kind of page over here so i have specified the particular this is a very important stuff because if you are uh, uh, going for the artificial intelligence machine learning model installation for the modules and installation for the django flask all those things so it's a very important stuff so here you can able to see in this particular file i'm getting add python ext to the path First, I need to tick mark to this particular add uh, python ext to the mark. Then I need to click on to the install now. So once I click on to the install now, it is operating the, the stuff it is going to allow. Just to give the access for it. And it is going to install it in your operating system. That is a 64 operating bit system. Okay. So if it is 32 bit, you have to take care upon that. So which is your downloading it. Okay. So I have said here, we have to, before clicking on to the install now, we make sure enable the tick mark to it before clicking on to it. Okay. So next after the successful installation of your python so once it's completed so i need to open the command prompt over here open the command prompt and enter the pip pip what is pip pip, pip is a something like package manager which enables to download the modules libraries for the operating system of the python over here okay so if the pip is working cool perfectly so then uh, it's like you have installed the python successfully like that okay so if it is not working i suggest you one thing like after installation of the any of the software restart your computer so that all the catch files will go and uh, the new things whatever it has been uh, taken the things which is going to reflect it into it okay so if it is not it's fine if it's coming it's fine but if it is not coming just restart the system whenever you install any of the software over that okay so now uh, you can see if i just come back over here it is uh, going to take a little bit time So you can say I got the setup was successful after installation. I'll just click on to the close. So now let's open the command prompt over here. I'll just search here and I'll just open the command prompt. So once I open the command prompt, so here I'll just show you. Just enter uh, pip pip over here. So once I enter the pip, you can see the pip is going to work uh, perfectly into my operating system. So I'll be getting few of the commands. You can see a uh, few of the things I am getting it over. Then it is installed properly. So then activate the Python shell. I'll just tell Python over here. So once I enter uh, the Python over here, so I'll just enter the Python. So you can see the terminal is going to get activated over here. So it's a little bit stacking. So let's. Uh, let's tell python enter you can see i'm getting python 11 3.11.1 so if i just try to print something i'll just tell uh, try to print something i'll just tell print uh, hello 
world okay so this is our first thing which we are going to print you can see all the things is working fine then python is installed successfully and one more thing uh, if you have installed python 11 point uh, something so if you want to install 3.7 point and even you can do that particular kind of stuff as well it is not mandatory you have to download a particular version itself only one version can be into your operating uh, system windows like that okay even you can install a number of different version of the python so whenever we are going to open it over here suppose if it is also you can see it is activated as a 3.10 over here so i have a 3.10 3.8.2 3.11 now if i refresh the stuff even it is going to show me the 3.11 so whichever python version you want you can just uh, use that one for your uh, project over here okay so this is the one thing so i hope you have uh, liked this video so i'll just uh, specify this link into the description you can go ahead and watch over there okay so i'll see you in the next time take care bye bye